minor hot garbage. And speaking of hot garbage, we have one more round of modern ready to go. We do not have Tyrone Corey. There we're last. We have Paul on elves. We have Zach back at it again with a shadow vans. Uh, Paul plays some spice in his elf deck. You think it's still the champion? Hundred percent. I think it's Allosaur Rider. Right? The, the, the you know the dinosaur thing. You know what I'm talking about. I don't think it's that. Well, we're gonna find out. As Zach's gonna fetch shock down the seventeen. It is the Dino. Oh, fight! Oh, oh the that new Dino one. Dino that fights. The new from Dominaria. This is the four mana five five that fights. I believe it is. Try to pull it up here in the back. We have Territorial Allosaurus. Uh, two green green for a 5-5 five, five dinosaur. Kick her two green when it's kicked in an ETB. You fight another target creature. Let's see what, what Zach uh, got going on. He had a thought sees. Then the 15. Ideal start against Paul. And he sees a lot of shiny cards over there. Um, full art. Land of Elves. Are so. We... Yeah, Paul has played Creator Hoof as well. We knew about the Creator Hoof. The uh, Allosaurus is new though. I don't like the Creator Hoof and Elves. Why not? Too clunky. And not that good when you can natural... Is that a Steely? He's... Oh, right. So he's playing both Allosaurus and Steely. He's playing a lot of new cards, apparently. He's, yeah. Looks like his version of Elves wants to go a little bit bigger. He just take the Big elf. Elves. He should take the uh, Mana Doric. You know recall. he's going to draw another one. It's an Elf. Counter Souls? Is it a name Elk? Nothing. Elk or Elf? Elf. Elk. Elk <laughs> Tribal. Thank, Thank you. you for the follow Vasra Mugin. Vasradium. I'm gonna catch it again. Vasradium Mugin. I wanna pronounce this whole thing. I'm waiting for the uh Vasradium Stralungan. Vasradium Stralungan, we thank you for your follow. Uh, we thank you from wherever you're watching from, or whatever your lineage is from, is Zach. Yep. It looks like they're gonna twelve here off a of fetch shock. Yep. There's the blood crypt. Double death shadow. That was pretty good for him two rounds ago, that's for sure. I don't think he's that lucky this time. We're about to see. He's in a thought scour. He's in a look. Island Street Wraith in the bin. Draws a black card. It's a fatal push. Not that bad in this matchup at all. Plays a dramatic. That's huge. Anywhere. On the play. 5-5 five, five, turn 2 with some removal in hand. It's Scantrips. pretty good. Paul, meanwhile, not a bad idea. He's going to then to... Uh, he's going to stay it. No, he's going to the 19th Horizon Canopy. Draws the card off the uh, Visionary... And Zach's going to start bashing. Bash! Bash is pulled on the 14. We're going to see a Thought Seize from Zach here, maybe? No, Inquisition first. Uh, Paul has drawn Quarter Calling to go with the Collective Company. And a Dwinnin Elite. There's two Elites, Seal of Champion, Arch Druid, Cord, and Coco. So Zach does have a question in hand. I want to make that aware to the audience. Um, so... He may take the Coco Accord. Um, I don't, I, he's not respecting the Steel Leaf Champion. Well, he thought he's done the Coco. Oh, Steel Leaf Champion. Okay. Right. This is going to pass the turn. Imagine Paul's fall. Oh, he drew the land. Here comes the Arch Druid. Okay. Paul has some game left. This has been a pretty anemic spark. And starting for Paul in the face of a turn 2 5 5 with removal and discard. Fetch land? Nope. Task of the never day. lucky. No, never lucky. A little the fetch land, I'm sure. Opt for fetch land. That might be the right call. He has two cards in the graveyard, I believe. He's gonna opt. He's gonna scry. Hey, it's not a fetch land. You know how he's I know? Because he's thinking a lot hard about it. Yep. It's probably like a card he he wouldn't mind seeing, but it's not a fetch land. Because fetch lets him go push Tessica, right? Yeah, push Archer with and Tassik. Maybe. Because there's one, two, three, four. He, he drew it. It's a dismember. Ugh. Here comes the attack. Paul down to nine. I imagine he just dismembers the. Uh, yep. Zachary sends the eight and kills the Arch Druid. Mm -hmm. And Paul needs to top deck a land really badly. And he did not get it. Just Dwin's Elite. In comes the Elf. And the attack. Uh, Ooh, I like the aggressive. I like this. it. Zach down to seven. Try for turn is it was a death shadow, of course. Never doesn't have it. Zach thinking you, if you're Zach, you just kinda keep pushing the pedal to the metal here, right? Mm -hmm. 
Zach should not be down to three. Oh, that's right. He's, that's right. He's down to three from this member. Yep. That's right. Shaman of the Pact Ooh. is not lethal because of the fatal push. Yeah. It depends if Zach taps out or not. I mean, uh, he has not. Seen, I don't think Paul is running Shaman of the Pact in this build just because he has the white. Uh, Zach takes the conservative line. Oh, he, is a, he is apparently. So. I, I was told he wasn't. Unless you change, Paul rotates pretty often between the two builds. Is Nettle Sentinel Paul's is going to go to Nettle Sentinel. Paul building a board state here. Stubborn Owl is fine. Island. Like it's it not, doesn't help the board. No, it does not. Zach really wishing now. I don't think he has access to Team of Battle Rage to seventy five, but I bet he, he does. He does. Okay. Not in his hand, and that's where it needs to be right here. As he's going to contemplate. I mean, he has the option to play a Tassiger. Uh, that's not... I just, I just feel like untapped land from Paul is the death of Zach here. Possibly. It depends how many cards he has to double away. Double away all of them. So he has... Okay. So Zach still has Stubborn Denial and Opt. I believe it's an Opt. Did not get a good look at the card in Paul's it's, hand. It's... Uh, Arshurid. This is a very different arch Uh That's from the Evelves vs. Adventures deck. All right. Paul still has a very formidable board here, and now Zach is going to opt while Coast is clear. He knows what the company in Paul's hand is a mystery card as well. He draws a blue card. Zach will untap and draw. It's another Death Shadow. And another. He had two Supper Denials and a Death Shadow in hand. So while Zach laying on a precarious ledge here, he is. Still sitting pretty decently. I don't know about that. Well, he's going to make a lethal attack. Paul's going to block very fast. Well, he makes an unlethal block. And Zach plays another creature. He's still at creature parry on this board. There's land. Another land. Paul's going to take two out of four, I believe. And I think Paul's dead here because there are four attackers. Oh. And there are. Oh, yep. That's good. Three blockers. And the well, like, is, you yeah. got it. They posture said, oh, I had the second company, and Zach's like, I got the second bit stubborn now, so it didn't matter. Yeah. So Zach's able to outgrind game one by just playing a bunch of big, dumb idiots. Yeah, that's how, like, he Back. saw, he actually saw a lot of threats for the deck. He did. He saw quite a few threats. He saw two Death Shadows and both a Tasker and a Gromag. Yeah, like, that's up. actually a lot. He saw all the right cards. He saw the discard early. He saw the threats. He saw the removal. And he had the cat match ready to go. He saw every card that he wanted to. Yeah. Like having like he saw he found four threats. Like yeah. sometimes the duck deck does um struggle to even find the second threat. Mm -hmm. I feel like he uh, was aided by the fact that Paul did not have the best start. Yeah. He found all of his spice cards and none of his early early pressure that he needed really badly. And as a result mm -hmm. it just didn't work. So we'll see if Paul's able to rebound in these two post board games. How do you uh, predict this matchup to go post board? Um, typically, this kind of ma elf is typically favored. Why is that? Uh, they go wide and it can apply enough pressure early on. Paul definitely wish he had just a little bit more pressure there. Yeah, I remember I played against Andy Falk on elves one time, and he 18 me on turn three. No, 16. I motioned to Robert. He kept talking because I had goldfish in my mouth, and he opened up the yeah. uh, what is this? The Domi booklet? the Dominaria Player's Guide. Yep. Okay, so top ten hottest cards in Dominaria. Number one, Mox Amber. Oh, the card is garbage. Number two, Jaya Ballard. The card is also garbage. Number three, Land Royals. The card is gas. Number four, uh, Mudatha. I'll be like EDH. Uh, number five, Weatherlight. Kind of cool. Number. Six to fairy. Forty bucks on Star City right now. Forty goddamn dollars. Number seven, fight with fire. I don't see it. People are using it on red sideboards. Uh, number eight, uh, the three mana Bennett Marshall. Benelish Marshall. Yeah, Benelish uh, Marshall. Glorious anthem on a stick. Really good card. Number nine, wrote right a Belzalock. I do not know what that does. Uh, number ten, Karn's temporal sundering. It says take an extra turn. Those cards are always pretty good. Uh, is I there... feel like this list is uh, heavily weighted towards whatever the author wanted. Senior designer, not Richard Garfield. No, no. This right. is a Garfield set, and you can really see it's a Garfield yeah, set. Yeah, so. With some of the designs. But enough about Dominaria. 
I'm, I'm, no. I'm, well, you can look at that. Yeah, I will. Ready to see game two here. Both players are drawing up their seven, their opening hands. Let's see what we got going on. Paul on the play. Exactly where he wants to be. Uh, I don't think I see a land in there, Paul. Nope. Paul, nope. ship it back. Get good, nerd. I don't know. So how do you feel about the right of the history of Beloia? What? The history of... Benelia? Ben Benelia. I think it's an amazing card. Uh, I, I have a German one. I think that you don't necessarily get need to get value off its uh, ultimate. Mm -hmm. And just getting 2-2 two -two Vigilance tokens are really important. Especially in a format where Seal Away is a really good removal spell. As a Paul has a turn. Oh, that's pretty good. So is that Shaper Sanctum? Yeah. That's the enchantment from Ixalan that whenever Zach turns one of Paul's creatures, he gets to draw a card. Yep, and that's and pretty guess good. What's going to happen a lot? Paul's going to play a lot of creatures, and Zach's going to want to kill a lot of them. And he, so Paul's going to draw a lot of cards. Yep. Speaking of drawing cards, it's Elvish Mystic. He's that like replaces well. it. So it's basically Belfort Shrix. Yes. So do you wish Belfort Shrix was modern legal? No. Why? I, I don't know. What I would hate, it do? I hate modern. It'll make one Billy Caminos very happy. Oh, I, I would like. I would like it too. I don't like. I feel like the decks that want to play it are uh -huh. just. That's not going to help them overcome everything else. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Like, you just want to play Tesserator because why not? No, I want to play Splinter Twin. I want Splinter Twin unbanned. Really? I bet many of you feel the same way. We need a police force in the format, and that's what Splinter Twin is. All right. All right I, I, I can see that one. Um, basic beautiful is so much. Basic bat. What is he saying? Baleful Strix is basically baleful is so much. I have no idea. I don't think baleful Strix is that much. Maybe too good is what he means. As Zach plays Delta and passes back the turn after one. the turn fetch up. There's the attack for one. Here's a second. Elvish Mystic. Uh, Paul says it is resolved. Zach says, yeah, I don't run creature counters. I don't see why, yeah, like, they just run Remand and Negate. So, is that the green dual land for elves? The, the black dual land for elves that Paul has over there? Yeah, the um, one from Lorwyn block. Paul is just going all in on some of the spice with the green, white, and the black, too. He's playing all the cool-looking uh, elf cards. Has, like, if he has no black cards, I don't get the point to get Glintly Palace instead of a basic forest. I imagine he has, uh... So I'm going to pack in the deck as he plays Cavern Naming Elf, I assume. is an attack for two. Paul just, like, is probably... Here's a, line, here's a play pattern that Paul is probably going to do. Uh, he's going to see attack first, see if Zach has anything to do. Um, if Zach does nothing important, um, that's it. Like, he's just going to go to Zach. And in his, his Zach's turn, he's just going to cast Coco. But it seems like Zach is actually doing something, so that... Maybe, we'll see. Play pattern is Zach's probably be not at right. 15, 14, 13, 12? Maybe. All right, let's see. What, maybe like instant speed conflicts for two? Yeah, but what is Zach going to do? Discard and. I mean, yeah, like. We have not gotten, look at, gotten a good look at Zach's hand. Here's a Snapcaster Mage. He's just ambush vibrating him. Yeah, and he's probably going to target op. Yeah. It's pretty interesting like, considering Zach has an engine explosives in hand. Like, it's clunky to spend four mana. Yeah. Paul taking advantage of the shields being down as Zach flashes back to his opt. He sees <laughs> Archdruid, and that's a visionary. It seems pretty good. Collective However, brutality a collective is a brutality spell in hand. That also seems pretty good. Uh, collective here is just a removal spell, maybe like a duress effect. It's like Paul has an Azuri in hand too. Is the new Azuri? No, no, dual... no. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's Azuri. I can't tell with the new. The card. new Azuri from the dual deck. Yeah, there's like a new art for Archery and Azuri. Yeah, I got the Azuri one because they had it given the new border. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you know there's an event, a uh, mom and pop in the new border. I did not know that. Yeah, in the Avengers deck. <laughs> I mean, that card, hoping it'll be like a $5 modern card, and well, just, they just keep reprinting good four minute cards for Jonathan, and then they reprinted uh, All right, band. so you get a lead okay. Sampede or a lead to Sampede? Or a lead to Sampede. Yeah. 
Three leader stampedes, one in the lead in Zuri in Hanford Paul. That's pretty good uh, <sighs> here. I mean, I feel like Zach is very fortunate that Paul's hand, well, good on paper, isn't enough to overpower Zach in the current state. I mean, it's pretty grindy. Yeah. But I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like the longer the game goes, the better it is for Zach. Maybe. I feel like he has the better tools to outgrind Paul. But Paul clearly has um, boarded in a way to be able to live uh, as long as possible. Yeah. And Zach, of course, again, does have the explosive of the hand. Dwayne's Elite would just be... Paul doing some math here. Here's the lead to Stampede. Zach desperately wants to see some two mana cards. He sees a... Even uh, Mind Sensor. More of that spice from Paul. He is known for it. Here's a or Elf. I don't like Avid Mind Sensor here. Like, it just seems like too clunky as a thing. Yeah. Fatal push to draw there from Zach. Really good draw. We see one mana. We see... Nope. What? Oh, what? An attack. I liked it. Zach getting in there. Down and dirty. In the red one? Okay. He wants... I see exactly what he's doing here. What? He's going to crack this... He's going to kill the Shaper Servant, and then he's going to kill Azuri. Okay. I like that, actually. And I imagine that. Yeah, you can watch Jordan Andrew. Come, come, come on, come watch. What? Jordan Andrew literally said, can I watch? Who is that? He's the person in our chat. Uh, yeah. To Thrun! Thrun the last throw. That's not an elf at all. <laughs> <laughs> Paul has clearly demonstrated that he wants to go long and grinding his hand. That's nine cards in his hand now. He has less cards in hand than Zach. More cards than Zach, yeah. Yeah. Here's a Dwight and Delete. Uh, so now, like, Zach's plan was very clear. Kabili Colossus! <laughs> that one makes sense, at least. Oh, Paul, no. He's adding to the board. We're gonna crack. Wait, no. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. We're gonna cord. <laughs> cord for two, he said? Yeah. What do you get here? Selfless Spirit. Oh, no. Paul, Paul has this all entire Paul thing. Paul is moving at a lightning brisk. Oh, no. <laughs> it was like he was moving for Seltless Spirit. And then he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> I literally thought he had it. I was like, dang, Paul, like it was on top of this. He was moving like he had it. Yeah. It would have blown Zach out, but. He did not. Now Zach needs something. I mean, like double snapcast for me. Double snapcast nice. is very good. Um, do like, not think Zach is going to go aggressive again with this uh, attack. <laughs> Here's a oh, okay, push. okay. He just has a fatal push. Okay. <sighs> Shows what I know. Get no, 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 no. I mean, 10. I like the aggressive here because, like, you need to get the damage in when you can. Yeah. Um, and, like, now, like, he has to deal with. Wait. Oh my, Paul's in such a good... Wait, he's a Chameleon Colossus too? Yes, he does. There it is. The Chameleon Colossus. Do I need to lead? He is flooding this board. Yeah. And here comes a pretty big attack. Snap push. It's actually the snap push, yep. Snap push or do I need to lead? But he... I do not think he has any way. Oh, it doesn't matter what he snap pushes, just because no matter what happens, Snapcast is trading with every creature on the board. Well, like, you push, like... The untapped one? Maybe. Psh, okay! And then block the other one in the late... Oh, no, he's not blocking it. Oh, I, so if he has to stack a Snapcaster mage, he's going to try to use that to deal with Chameleon Colossus. So he's going to try and deal six to... Paul? What's Zach's answer to Chameleon Colossus? Block it with Snapcaster Mage. Um, Paul, Paul's never going to swing with Chameleon Colossus. No, he's not. Is he, is he going to snap push the... Uh, he has there's a Death Shadow. So one way he can get over it is like Team or Battle Rage? We're, we're oh. just scooping up. He just can't beat it. Too much too much spice from Park Horrible. Too many elves and the Chameleon Colossus. Too many uh, lead to Snapcaster too many lead to Stampedes has been announced, though. There was three casts. He had three. He had yes, three. two. 
I could have sworn he had a third one in there. Oh, no, he got discarded. So he had three, got to cast two of them, got to cast a company. Paul just got to cast a court of calling. Paul just casting all the cards you want to cast to get all that spice he got. Paul seemed really proud of himself for that. Like, really proud of himself. I, I would be proud of myself if, for t two if I did that. All right. Uh, so now the question is, is Zach going to bring in some Lingering Souls? Is Zach going to... Uh, probably not. Lingering Souls doesn't do a whole lot in this matchup. But he's talking Million Colossus. He needs a way to deal with that card. Uh, you just have to accept some facts he just loses some cards. We're also going to see if he has Path to Exile as well. He does not. Uh, he's looking at the board going... Oh, is there any oh man, oh man. I should probably bring in this Path that it shouldn't be in my deck. <laughs> oh my god. What? Kanye you. West? You no, you. Just you. Well, Path should not be in a sideboard. No, it, you're right, but like Like I'm all fair for like It'd be really good here, but you're right, it should not be in this deck. Yeah, like you're, you're like trying to like like I said before, like the Death Shadow deck's trying to make their your opponents work on as few resources as possible. With like the discard, the efficient threats, the efficient counters. Like the the high efficiency of the deck. Like, you don't want to give them a land. Because that's a free resource. Like, that's a resource you gave them. Yeah, you just have to... Because you just have to win before Communion Colossus comes into play. Thank you, Excalibur7018, for the follow. We appreciate it. We thank you for watching for the future in the year 7018. I hope magic's still happening in 7018. I hope, I hope we still exist in 7018. You hope, you hope to be alive in 7018? I hope humans. Okay. Something. I hope something still exists in 78. You know what will be? Alpacas. No, you don't. You're not alpacas anymore. Huh? You're not alpaca anymore. You're not a renegade. Is that you in the Spikes Discord, by the way? What? Someone with like the username alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Did you notice that? Yeah. It was like, oh, this is probably Robert. Is yeah. that what you said? Follow the. Uh... That's what I said, yeah. Paul, the uh, shout out White Splash is for Lingering Souls, and maybe more cards we don't know. Zach said, is Splash for White cards, as in plural. Maybe cards were like Lingering Souls because there's multiples. That is true. Zach's the mulligan. Paul's happy with his seven. Yeah. Why, why are we looking at people in the Spikes Discord? Because I'm on the Spikes Discord at work. Alright. Like, who's Alpaca? W was I the first person you thought of? Yeah, it was you. How do you know I have Discord, bro? I don't know. Do you? Yeah. Are you Alpaca? I'm Alpaca Ranger, I think. I'm I'm Alpaca related. Yeah. This, this you? Yeah. Just Alpaca. Yeah. I just added you as a friend. All right. I might accept yep, there it. you go. Yeah, that's you. How, oh, wait. How can you tell? You're Twitch. Yeah. Oh, dang it. No. You know, oh, I always forget you guys know my Twitch Your now. Your guard has been revealed as, um, we're to see, uh, a dork from Paul. Yeah, I pretty good. Tell pretty standard. Is. Cannot tell which dork it is because Paul loves Helper's his... Mystic. Uh, it's Mystic, okay. Zach and uh, Thought Scour, Fetch Shock, down to 17. Yeah. Pretty good starts from both players. Team of Battle Rage in hand for Zach. That's a pretty big one. Flips over. I think Zach forgot land. about Team I think Zach took the Team of Battle Rage out. That's why he discarded it. it scooped. I could be I wrong. Can see that. No, I can see that. He does not have Fetch Shock here. He, he does, does have, have a Shock, shock Lane. I can see him going neg one, neg one. I I wouldn't be opposed to like negging and Manador killing the Mandork with collective. Yeah. There is a rest in peace in Paul's hand, it looks like. That that seems No, nope, no, it's it's Nekthos. Okay. There's brutality. Just calling brutality. Uh get a lead to Stampede. Get, get a lead to Stampede. Jordan, this is a Tuesday night event. Yep. So, like a just a weeknight tournament, four rounds. Yep. Um, very serious. Not that. Not that serious. Yeah, we're all spikes here. Um, we play for keeps, prison rules. <laughs> Zach opts a bloodstain minor to the top, and he's gonna crack it. Welcome back to the junior, just in time for the final game of the stream. Yep. Yeah, good timing. So. Like, like, as we said before, three more subscribers. If yeah, we get three, three more subs, and I have to talk about why Mon is the best format of all time. Yep, and just remember... Is this Double Shadow again? This is Double Shadow again yep. from Zach. 
I don't care. I just just use my fists. That's all I need, Timbo. My fists. Your fist. I can't fight. What so this is like Timbo. I hope Paul does not never does not attack soon. Yeah, Paul never wants to attack here. It's like he's adding mana. Thrun! Thrun the last troll. As Zach drew the one land he does not want to draw. Basic island. Can we make angler is fine here? Yeah, follow up with an angler. He's gonna <laughs> delve away some cards. Excuse me. And play the angler. So now I feel like we're just gonna stare at each other for a while because yep. Paul only wants to attack if it deals lethal. exactly lethal. And Zach is just waiting with that team of battle rage in hand. Yeah, because like I think Zach's in no Hey, thank you, Johnny Andrew, for the follow. Thank you so much, Johnny. Um players do use the playmats, but when they're on camera like this, uh we request that they do not use playmats because yeah. we have a playmat for them. Yeah, like I remember my good old Frank playmat. Who? My uh the you know the playmat I have with uh, the guy's face on BBE? No. I do not. Well, I have one. Okay. I can show it to you right now. Run is elite there. Three mana. Steel Leaf Champion making it its debut in modern. The three mana five four. Those death channels currently cannot block. Lead to Stampede. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. There's an Azuri. Along with some other friends. Steel Leaf um, looks like cast every card. Well. This is Steel Leaf. This is Dwinans. Cast every card. This is Elf. Just pass. Oh, he wants to protect the Azuri. Draw from turn. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, no. The thought seeds. What was that? Wait, how come the he didn't have seeds. enough mana? Oh, okay, so he had to cast three mana for the lead stampede. Okay. But, God, it's just Zach dead. So he's at 10. Death Shadows are three He's threes. at 10. He's got three blockers. Um, Paul has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven creatures. So, like, one of the Steel Leaf champions is coming through. Wait, no, no, it's not. Never no, mind. No, because the Death Shadows are three threes. But, yeah, like, so. Eight creatures are coming through here. But one, you also two, gotta eight, remember eight, the Arstruid. Five, six, seven, eight, it's nine, lethal. Ten, 11. It's lethal. Three, yeah. Eight times two. There's 16 points of damage that come through here. Unless he has Land Kozlik's return. He, he's got Land. Team of Battle Rage. But if that Team of Battle Rage was a Kha'Zix return, that would be a blowout. I yeah. think uh, Zach is starting to see it right now. I think Paul knows it. I think Zach's starting to see it. Do you have Lane Kha'Zix return? No. no. He's cool. Team of Battle Rage. Okay, here we go. We're going in, boys. Paul making the easy block. Here's a Battle Rage. That's not going to do it. <laughs> All right, Paul Kerbal here, winning both cyborg games to take down Zach Harris in his four color shadow. Just didn't line up for Zach there. Back in the booth here, I'm Jake, joined by Robert. Gang, gang. So, pretty interesting in a modern. We saw Death Shadow do its thing a little bit, and we yep. saw it fail a little bit. Yep. We saw L's go wide with some spice. Yep. Some serious spice. Not really. We didn't see the actual spice, but we heard about it. Okay, go on. The uh, Tarantula Source. I don't believe that at all. What about the Steel Leaf Champions? The, I, I think that's a very good card. Uh, so round one, we saw Jund mm -hmm. versus... Something. A deck. I don't remember what it was. But Jund won. Uh, round two, we saw Zach Harris on Shadow Beat Humans. It's a really interesting matchup where both players played really cautiously. And it hurt. In fact. In fact, that's right. Jumpers, in fact. <laughs> that went exactly how you thought it went. The deck with removal beat the deck. That's all in on 12 yep. conditions. Exactly. Round three, Brent. we saw Bring Light Escape Ship get there thanks to a braid versus Ready Don't Drazi. Yep. And then we saw Elves go wide enough to beat Death Shadow. It was a pretty very night. Uh, there was a lot of interesting decks. There were two blue red prison decks that did not, did not do too well tonight. The deck's hard. Uh, yeah, I just don't know why you're playing that deck over Lantern. Uh, you want to mill people out with any pit river. But like, I saw it lose to Noble Hierarch. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just don't know why you're not playing Lantern. I mean, like, I don't know why you're not controlling your. I mean, you, you like Noble Hierarch beats Lantern too. 
Yeah, but like at least able to control draw steps. I feel like in lantern. But like you can just like one one one. I don't know. I don't play that kind of deck. Like you, just, like the, both decks need to find pirate spell bomb basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one deck did have pirate spell bomb, but it wasn't enough. It lost to uh, Esper Goros and uh, Obzidat coming in and out of the field. Well, yeah, that's fine. That happens. So that will do it. We have four rounds of sand. Four rounds of modern tonight. Tomorrow will be four rounds of standard. Be sure to tune in for that. Justin Gebbing fresh up a top four at SCG Atlanta. We we'll have Patrick Narsavage. They'll be commentating all the action right here, starting at six thirty Eastern Thursday is our Martin League. We'll be both back. This man will eat a Valakit sandwich. I will not talk about Modern just yet. Maybe five more subs on Thursday we can do that. But Crest is for now. Uh, Friday, we have five rounds of FNM Modern with Mario Kribari and Mark Anliker. And then Saturday, standard PPTQ. It should be a lot of fun. It's a wide open format. Don't know what the hell is going to go happen. going to go down on that day. So make sure you tune in. If you like what we do, give us a follow. Our Patreon is patreon.com slash Productions. For updates, go to facebook.com slash Productions. For this guy, get some good bread, some good toppings, good seasonings, good condiments for your sandwich. You excited to eat some delicates? Hell yeah. All right. He's Robert Meadows. I'm Jake Valentine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night for Wednesday Night Standard at 630. Take it easy, everyone.